morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Grace, where everyone loves coffee and everyone needs God's grace. Today I've got my fancy little uh, ceramic mug. This is the one I call uh, the fishing mug because, yep, it looks like I got this little guy and he's got his fishing pole and he's fishing. That's what I see. Anyways, today I have um, Folgers um, instant coffee and some sweet cream and pumpkin spice seasoning. Mm. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, I I did. I had a great weekend. We got a tiny bit of sunshine on Sunday and I went blueberry picking with a friend and it was fun and we got blueberries. And um, so I am hope I hope that you guys are enjoying these morning videos, this uh, these little devos. And if you do, if you do enjoy them, I would ask that you would subscribe, and that you would um, hit the thumbs up button and um, the notification button so that you don't miss any of the devotions. So right now we're we're doing the um, the U version Bible app, and we are doing the plan um, called completing project me and that's by matthew a thomas and we did um days one through three last week so this week we're going to do day number four and five and then i'm not sure if we're going to do a third day i will let you know if we do a third day this week and so today's uh devotion is titled when time flies or stands still so, <clears throat> subjective time is measured not by what time is, but how it feels. It is not about the actual science of time, but how it affects us. And therein lies the problem. Time affects us. For those who want something to happen that is not happening, there is something wrong with the clock, or God, or the whole world. It does not seem to be working in their favor. For the person who does not want something to end, they feel as though the clock or God, or the whole world, is pushing them too quickly. We tend to look at time as either our friend or our enemy. Most often, it's perceived as our enemy. In all of this, God is often the scapegoat or culprit, when, in reality, he is not impacted by our sense of immediacy or desire to stretch experiences out. That is not God's primary concern. Our completion and development is... I have often wondered how God perceives our fickleness when it comes to time. We are capricious at best. For him, time serves a different purpose. God seems to be more concerned about the completion of things rather than the immediacy or suspension of them. Perhaps that is why the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. We should always be in a spirit of prayer since God does not give up when we do. He is not finished when we think he is. In fact, sometimes he is just getting started when we think the prayer, but the need for prayer is over. Peter reminds us that God is not slow in keeping his promises because he has an eternal perspective. In fact, time simply serves his greater purpose of salvation. That is why, to God, a day is like a thousand years, and the reverse is true. What do we need to possess to help us better understand how God uses time? Patience, perspective, and persistence are important if we are able to under, to ever understand how God works with how God works with and in time if we can leverage these we will be more likely to allow God to use time for our benefit and today's verses are second peter 3 8 through 9 8 and 9 but you must not forget this one thing dear friends a day is like a thousand years to the lord and a thousand years is like a day the lord isn't really being slow about his promise as some people think no he is being patient for your sake he does not want anyone to be destroyed but wants everyone to repent and first thessalonians five seventeen: never stop praying and those are the two verses for today and so yeah, when time flies or stands still, and it's uh, and it's our perspective on it. Time doesn't, time doesn't really do either one. Um, so that's very interesting. And to see, um, to see time from God's perspective, um, there is no time. There's no, there's no time in in eternity, and He sees us. Um, he sees each individual 
um, person from, you know, from the from before they're born and in, into eternity. So he, he sees the big picture and it's hard for us to see outside of just, you know, today or just this moment. And he sees all of it. And so when we get to complaining and saying, you know, God's not doing this or not doing that. And he's just smirking, thinking, I'm doing it up here. You're just not there yet. Or, well, if you saw what was ahead, you wouldn't even want that. So we can't actually see, you know, see the big perspective like that. But to God, um, he sees the whole um eternity so he knew what was happening before he even created you know our planet earth and he sees the end after earth is done and we're all in in eternity um and he sees so he sees earth as a whole and humanity as a whole and yet he sees me personally from beginning to into eternity and he sees me in each in each day and he sees me in each moment and he is with me in each moment and um i had uh there was a a little thing we did in our church this week a, a song called there's honey in the rock and then we had someone stand up and say you know is you know the honey in the rock you have to really look to see the honey in the rock you're not just going to see the rock and 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 the honey's there you have to seek for it and you have to seek for all the good things in our everyday mundane lives uh, when you you can you can go out and walk through the yard and walk to the car and never see anything or you can walk to the car and see the flower blooming over there and see the colorful leaf falling over there and see the little bird chirping it's standing on the branch over there and uh, there's so many beautiful things that we can see that are God in every moment of our lives and uh, we have to look for them and um, so God is in every moment which every moment makes up time so every second of our lives is into goes into minutes and then hours and then days and then months and years and a lifetime and the more time that we spend searching for God in each moment the more beautiful our life is I can't imagine going my whole life and not seeing God in anything just not looking for him at all I just that's very sad that's very sad to me and I love to be in nature and I love to be outside and that's um, I love to be in Alaska where it's so beautiful and it's just like I feel like you know this was God's you know grand place when he created it well this is close to heaven beautiful and I don't know that it is heaven's probably way more beautiful than this but I feel like we get a taste of God's creativity in, um, in what we see around us. And like I've said before, if he can do that in nature, imagine what he can do in us. And um, anyways, we need to, to look for God in every moment. And um, that makes time beautiful. Our time here on earth is not fleeting. That we can't we that we just go through it and it's over and it's and it's ended we can truly enjoy it we can be um going through some of the worst things that you can imagine but if you look closely you'll probably be able to see god somewhere somewhere in your situation so just remember that Time is what we make it. It is our perspective. It affects us one way or the other. Is it flying by? Is it going too slow? Are you seeing God in each moment? Are you looking for God? Are you seeking God in your everyday mundane lives? Think about that. All right. Good, good devotion today. 
And we have one more day tomorrow in perfecting um, or completing, completing me project. So the first day we had get your biggest project going well. Day two, we had layer upon layer light and, and ripples unending. And then in what or whom does your faith rest? And then today was time flies or stand still. So maybe maybe on uh, our third day this week, maybe we'll do a recap on all of those. I'm not sure, but it's a pretty good, pretty good little devotional, and um, I really like it, giving me something to think about each day. So I hope that you enjoyed it too, and I will see you here back tomorrow. And give me a thumbs up if you if you like if you're liking the devotions. Thank you so much for watching. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.